Hey everybody, Rubicon here. That's right, early access showing off Warhammer 3. Thank you to Creative Assembly for the early access. I've had a lot of fun getting ready for these videos and so I hope you enjoy them as well. And if you're interested, be ready when the game comes out very, very soon. A lot of time build up. So there are two suggested campaigns factions for the first campaign rather you can do the demons of chaos or you can do kislev so there is also a prologue which you can also play i would recommend doing that if you're interested in the story just because it helps set the stage for what's going on in these campaigns so if you haven't you might be a little um a little unsure of what's going on but you will if you've seen the trailer one of the more recent trailers involving urson then you'll have a general idea of what it is but the prologue just provides a lot more backstory so we're gonna do two sets we're going to do a first 10 turn play on the channel of the great orthodoxy showing you how they get set up and the ongoing campaign is going to be katarin with the zarina of the ice court as you can see, she's got her effects of devotion, which we'll get into inside. Control, better there. Higher recruit rank for Frost Maidens. Reduced training, which we'll get into. And then cor reduced corruption, reduced upkeep for Ice Guard units. And then also she starts with a 50% miscast base chance reduction, which is pretty great. So without further ado, we're going to jump right in. Check out this first cinematic. If you've already seen it by chance, Go ahead and skip it, but it's still fun either way. Here we go. And of course, what would a cinematic be without a loading screen right before it? I forgot about that. So we're off to a great start. We're just we're crushing it today. We are crushing it. All right, here we go. A nation in mourning. False news has arrived before me. They believe Ursum is already dead. My proposition will require a delicate touch. I speak the truth. Your god is not dead. He lies in the realm of chaos, a captive of the Shadow Lord. It is no lie. For one drop of Urson's blood, I can help you save him. Choose your last words wisely, old man. Through your bloodline, you and the bear are one. See past your grief. Search your heart. Her son is alive. He speaks the truth. He speaks the truth. Silence! We have lost what is most precious. Many say I am at fault, that I no longer have the right to sit on this throne. So I stand. I stand with my people, all of you. And if it comes to it, I shall die with my people. We have been blinded by grief. Ursun lives. And while he fights to draw breath, we fight for him. For Ursun! For Kislev! For Ursun! For Kislev! Kislev marches north into hell. Our 
goal is to rescue Urson, the god bear of Tislev's, from the clutches of Velikor. After fraught bargaining, my price is agreed, and I will do all I can to guide the Kislevites to their lost god. Come then, before I change my mind and cast you into the ice. Advise me. Your Highness. We're going to skip that part. It's just your typical showing of the campaign. We've got the Motherland, the Ice Court, and the Ottomans. I'll show you those as they come up. Typical first uh, mission. Basically, what the situation is, is you've got Norska, a Norska settlement right here. This is your first target when you play as Katarin. And then you have a Kislev faction right to the north of you that you are actually at war with. So that is something that you have to keep an eye on and really manage correctly as Katarin. The same goes for the Great Orthodoxy. They've got a slightly different setup and situation, but the biggest thing that they have going for them is, this will look familiar if you've played Troy. This is the Paris and Hector race for uh, King Priam, Priam's Primes, however you want to say it, favor. So you have to gain supporters and then whoever gets to the end first, you get 600 supporters, you will confederate the other side of the coin. So if you play as the Great Orthodoxy, you're racing against the Ice Court. In our case, we're going against the Great Orthodoxy. You get supporters through buildings, events, fighting chaos is the easiest way to get it. And then the key one here though, is you lose supporters if you fight other Kislev factions. So this is the trick because diplomacy is really not plausible with these guys. Another fun addition from Troy, the quick deal system. So we're gonna come back to this in a second, but if you, sorry, if you come back to Kislev, most of the factions, you start out kind of, okay, the Great Orthodoxy and the Ice Court hate each other to begin with, no matter what. They just, they hate each other. The rest of them though, you're, if you're, depending on who you are, two of them like you usually, and one hates you and you're at war with them to begin with. So in order to take them out, because they don't want peace with you, you have to balance out that, that aesthetic, basically. The other part of it is the Ice Court. This is how you get your frozen ma your Frost Maidens, excuse me, or an Ice Witch Lord. So that is only available through the Tech Tree. So highly recommend rec doing that first. You do get one though by winning this first battle. You automatically get a Frost Maiden to begin with, and if I remember correctly, in the Great Orthodoxy, you get a Patriarch. So, same concept. However, the Ice Court always applies for Frost Maidens, regardless of which Kislev faction you are. So, the first thing we're gonna do is you start with 100 Devotion. The lower this is, there's a small chance of a Chaos Incursion coming in. So you need consistent Devotion in order to prevent random Chaos Armies showing up. You have the different ones, they all provide different approaches. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is, we're going to do the invocation of Urson, because that gives us five supporters when occupying settlements. Spoiler alert, if you fight Kislev, you lose two supporters. So that helps nullify it, otherwise you just get one when gaining character ranks, one when constructing a building, or two when you fight a battle. So, we're going to do the invocation of earth zombies that also give us a battle buff much like the dark elves ice ice yes there are plenty of jokes that you could make but we're not going to do that all right so first and foremost we are going to build um let's see we want to build the tallow keepers guild when we get to level three Highly recommend getting a Temple of Ursun. I'll explain more later when we get there. But to start with, we don't have enough devotion to do that. It would also be a good idea to get these guys as well, because then you can get a church going, which I think we get we get 10 devotion for that. So we'll we'll hold on that one for a second. But then here's Katarin. You start with some winged lancers and a snow leopard. With the Great Orthodoxy, you start with an elemental bear. So you get one of the monsters right away. Uh, I guess technically war beast. Sorry, they're not a monster. War beast. But we're going to start right here. 
And this is a decisive victory right off the bat. However, we are going to fight it because I want to show off Katarin and all of her stuff. But we'll get the first battle. You basically you're fighting Norska and Kisla to start. And as we get further in the campaign, I'm showing you some of it as it applies, because there are, quite frankly, there's a fair amount of changes. I wouldn't say that it's insurmountable, but they've done. I, I think that there's a good meshing of features. So if you just come in expecting Warhammer 2 and the same the same thing, you might be a little surprised at what you actually get just because it's not a carbon copy, which is good. So just be on the lookout for that. So as we get through it, I'll explain it more and more. All right, so to start off with, <clears throat> this is the Ice Guard right here. We'll start with them. These are Katarin's basically personal guard, and they obviously have ice weapons, but they also get, these are the units that get the upkeep buff from Katarin being the faction leader. So Snow Leopard, you go over there, Kitty Cat, you come back here. Then you have Kossars. So these are the armored Kossars. These guys are pistol and axe infantry. They've got gigantic shields and they shoot a pistol and they're armored, very heavily armored. Then you also have, with great weapons, this variety. This is different than the Tsar Guard. But these guys basically have a huge mace and they shoot at something with a pistol. And once you get close, they swing a mace at it. And they're in the trees. There's the kitty cat, the snow leopard. And then here are the winged lancers, looking pretty baller. And then last but not least, here is Katarin with a nice little snowflake for Norska to enjoy before they die. All right, so we're going to let them, I think, yeah, they're going to come to us. This is the countdown over here. This is from the Motherland invocation that we did, the Bitterness of Winter. So it reduces leadership, speed, and then also gives a vigor penalty for 16 seconds. So basically you reduce their vigor for 16%. Are they not gonna move anymore? Or are they just relocating? There they go, they're moving again. Because Katarin, what she starts off with is the Ice Maiden's Kissed. It's the... It's one of these. Oh, also, new feature. The slow-mo cam. When you go to cast a spell, it automatically switches back and forth from normal play into slow motion. Alright, so... We're going to wait on that. Katarin also has Ice Sheet, which... Exactly what it sounds like. It reduces charging speed. So we're going to bring her, we're going to readjust, we're going to adjust this line ever so slightly. Sarah, and also Katarin too, she kind of like glides on ice, which is, that I kind of like it, it's fun. Alright, so you guys adjust, start firing at them. Whoops, they see him. I think the cat, the cat's still hidden. That was a little late on that one. All right, the kitty cat's anti-large, so we're going to go after Get out of there. Alright, so they're already running. This is going pretty pretty good start. That's the thing. With the pistol infantry, you can just run right through them before they even get to you. Alright, Ice Guard. Alright, Kitty Cat, get out of there. Wing Lancers pull back for another charge. All right, Wing Lancers, go chase them down. Kitty Cat, you do the same thing. You guys reposition. Ice Guard, you reposition as well. Katarin, get over here. All 
So we're just going to shoot this guy as soon as he gets close again. Oh, they're back. This is not going to end well for them. Ooh, that has to hurt. Yeah, we're just going to sh we're shooting this guy. Come on. There we go. Oh, that was a great cast. That was a great cast. I am very pleased with myself. All right. So wing lancers, kitty cat, chase them down. fire on him oh they're out of ammo that's okay they don't have a ton of ammo but it actually it gets the job done yeah we'll drop that let's get some more experience for everybody chase the marauders down Try to see if we can catch them. See if we can time this right. Oh, mistimed it. That's all right. All right, got the Lord. So you can also rematch this right away. I think that's also, if I remember correctly, from Troy. So let's see if we can get enough devotion to get a Orthodox church going. Because that will be key um, to Pushing it out. All right, so we get 18. I think that's going to give us enough. Summary execution. Yes, perfect. Okay. So now we can send Frost our maiden. Frost Maiden over here. And then that should be enough. Yes, we can now build a church, which is important. All right, so unassigned skill points. Katarin has your typical... Um, typical skill tree the main difference though and this is somewhat what i was alluding to you'll see features from warhammer 2 in here but for example lightning strike is now different the difference is at the beginning it now delays reinforcements it's three levels instead of just one skill one skill point and then it's yours so at level three that's when you get the lightning strike battle that you're used to however the difference is your troops start the battle with reduced vigor. So you have to manage that appropriately. All right, so first things first, what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're gonna do relief columns. That's gonna take effect next turn. Katarin is going to recruit. So here are just Kossars, which are bow and arrow. Again, a lot of the Kislev units, they can hold their own in melee. These guys are not well armored, but look at their melee attack. 29, not terrible, but not like nothing. So they actually can do fairly well. I'm gonna get two of these guys right away because they can also be anti-large since they have spears. And then the last thing we're gonna do on this turn is we're gonna go to quick deal and we're going to... I will listen, but my time is short. You can also balance the offer. So it'll automatically make it work, which is so nice. It's going to make your life a lot easier. So Ostermark, let's start trading with them. We'll balance it, get 79. That's fine. And then Brotherhood of the Bear. Oh, nice. And, and we'll get money from them. Perfect. So we want to get these guys on our good side and get allied or confederate with them almost immediately. Are united in strength. All right, so military access, that's not going to happen. We'll take the 40. All right, so I think that's everybody. Ostland, again, the Great Orthodoxy hates us. 
Defensive alliance, we're still a ways off. Military access, we're still a ways off. Non-aggression pact. All right. So we can now end our turn. And we are H-O-T-T-O-G-O. -T -T -O All right, so on turn two, we've done that. We're Gucci. Now we need to capture Gerslev. This is a little trickier. If you run in with this type of army, you might be in for a bit of a surprise. So what we're gonna do is, this is why I did the commandment to increase recruitment, because we're gonna need these troops. And then this will all be done in the next turn. And then we we can't start recruiting at the ice court yet because we don't have the technology researched. So this first turn sets pretty quick because you've got over here. This is where the Empire is down here. Over here is where in troll country, this area, this is where the great orthodoxy starts. These are the chaos wastes up here. And then way up here, I believe it's right in this area, is where uh, Grand Cathay is. The other part of it too is, if you look at the victory conditions, you can win this campaign one of two ways. There's a Vortex campaign style victory where you complete all the realms, which we'll get to when they appear, or you can do a domination victory. You basically have to defeat all the Chaos factions and some of the Norskin ones and control 50 provinces. I'm honestly not sure which is easier, to be perfectly honest with you. So we're going to keep it up here. This campaign, we're going to go for the Vortex because that also follows the story. And that's how we're going to roll with it. All righty. So we now... We have a little bit more room here. We can't quite reach them. So we're going to come into here and then we'll just drop Katarin into ambush. Denied. Uh, let's go ahead and build that because it increases the growth because we need to get to one more turn. This has also been redone. So it's a lot nicer, honestly. Um, so not much else we can do. There is an ogre camp over here too, somewhere, I believe. Um, but so we're gonna try to swing up and take, take them out. Once we get moving, cause there's, yeah, this is a outpost, I believe. All right, they foiled our ambush. That's fine. Now there's a race, too, of getting more supporters. So they've already got six supporters. We only have one, which is coming from the building that we made, which is the church. So that's just a constant one. Then we get ones for the rest of it. OK, so this is labeled to be a Pyrrhic victory. So if you auto resolve it, we're not going to lose anybody. But I'm going to show you the sieges and why this is a little tricky. So everybody, the only people that are armored here are the Marauder Champions. Missile superiority. We got to love it. All right, so as you can see here, and if you've been following the videos from Creative Assembly, this works a little bit differently. There really are not any you're fighting outside the settlement battles anymore. This is the new approach to it. So each of these points represents supplies. So obviously you can read here, generate supplies and controls defensive structures. If we take those, we reduce the supply count and then we also uh, 
break some momentum. But in the meantime, they can build up towers and such. So if you just sit back and don't do anything, it might not work out so well for you. But you can have you got options of how you want to do it. All right. So we are going to. We're going to send these Kossars straight up the middle. These guys are going to start in hiding. And they're going to come up through there. Where do I want to send you guys? I might try to send them up this way. I might have them try to sneak in the back, honestly. Try to sneak in and... Kind of snag one of them. It depends on how they're set up, too. That's the biggest... The biggest key. So... You clowns go here, you go here, uh, Katarin, you stay here, and then you're going to hide over here with them. So you've got Ice Shard. Okay, you've got Ice Shard. You could just have those abilities, and then you have Hailstorm, and then Katarin has her stuff. Okay. Okay. You can win. You must win. Uh, it looks like they've left this completely unguarded, so we're gonna just go on through there. Yeah, so like right now they're building a barricade, so we gotta get in there and stop it, because otherwise they're gonna funnel. Well, we might not get there in time. Whoops. Alright, so you guys need to break that down. You guys can just fire, though. Alright, get in there. Actually, no, get over here. You're faster than them. Alright, we're just gonna have to come through. Keep on coming through. Just ignore, ignore the barricade for now. We don't have a choice. You get up here, you get up here. It's like right now we're taking these and they are in trouble. All right, Katarin, forget about that. Shoot the spearman. You get up here. All right, so you guys come up here. Take them out, please. So you can get out of there. Kitty cat, you come up here.
All right. All right, we own this. Excellent. Charge into them. All right, so you guys get into the square. We need to take that. You guys get up here. Actually, all of you start taking out that tower. You all need to be in here. You be here too. You be here. Actually, you go with them. Keep charging them. All right, this is going pretty well, actually. Because if we take this... Oh, shoot. All right, so that's ours now. You guys head this way. All of you, fire on them, please. All right, how are you guys doing up here? Doing lovely. Let's stay away from the spears if we can. You guys come over here. Stay away from their lord. Just nice little. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Where did we? Oh, we lost that. That's fine. All right, so Costars, get up here. You guys fire on that. You guys get over here. You get behind. Because we also have momentum that's building up right here. So the more momentum we get, the better we fight, basically. Oh, you guys are still alive. All right, so we destroyed that. How are you guys still alive? All right, so you guys get lined up here. Yeah, we, we've, we've won this. Chase them down. Ooh, there's a juicy. Let's have you line up here. Just fire at them. Slow you all down. You gotta be careful not to get caught in with them. We got this in the bag. We just got to mop it up. Yes. Whoops. Stay away from the spears, though.
All right, keep advancing. Uh, kitty cat, you get back here. Get away from him, please. Whoops, nope, nope, nope. Turn around. You guys get up to here. Where are my Cossars? Oh, that was a great cast. I'm very pleased with that. All right, you guys can come back in here. Fire on him. Attack them, please. Which one? Oh, it's up there. That's fine. You guys can turn back around, come deal with them. It's coming through, run them over. Yeah, we, we've got this. It's just a matter of when. Alright, you guys come back to here. So we got to take that back eventually, but all right, kitty cat, go deal with him. All right, we still have a little bit of recharging that we need to do. You get up here for when that fight is almost ready to go. Alright, that should break them. Alright, oh, we lost Kitty Cat. That's okay. Not the worst thing in the world. All right, they're gone. All right, wing lancers. You just need to stay away from these guys. Turn this around. Oh, they never came. Alright, that almost broke him. You guys need to get away. You guys can take him on. The Kossars I'm a little more worried about. Alright, you guys get into here. You can come over here and take this. Get all the way inside, please.
There we go. That's it. So as you can see, it's not quite... I could have managed that better, don't get me wrong. But that's also just a reality of it's much more defender-centric. Than it has been in the past. And if you just sit back and try to sit, shoot missiles at them, you can. It's just you got to be able to outrange towers. Because they just get a churn of points. So they just keep going and going and going and going. And they can build better and better towers. And some of the towers, honestly, at this point, I'll show them to you. Some of the towers are kind of scary. Like, they can deal some serious, serious damage. Katarin, though, let's see. So she only killed 34, but her damage dealt was almost 5,000. Well, we lost Kitty Cat. That's okay. So we're just going to occupy it. So now this is the first of these settlements. And let's see, we could do basic military. They already have a church here, which is going to be our next target. So let's actually, because I can't recruit anybody here. Okay, I can recruit the Kossars, which let's do this. So Igorov is pretty open. See, there's a church there. So let's go ahead you do a hallowed wood or a farm. Um, we'll do a hallowed wood first. And then let's see. I need more. I need more of these guys. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Oops, I almost forgot. So, skill points. Reassuring presence is going to be important more so, actually, than not. recruitment. You'll see why in a minute when we get to that point. But let's see. So, Hailstorm. Go ahead and do that one more turn until I can recruit more of them. Take control of one Mistress. settlement. All right, so you and I need to follow. So, actually we're going to use the mace as a flankers and these guys are better at holding the line because they have obviously a shield. So All right, so we'll be here for probably actually here. We're going to merge them to reduce the amount of now we're going to build a church, uh, continue building the church up. And we'll be ready to go. Because the end turn is very, very quick. All right, so we can start recruiting characters. We basically get them for free. But we also need to, we need to get growth going also right away. We stand against chaos. And then here. I think. We are both servants. You and I. There's still actually wait, there's still more coming. So we're gonna hold off on that. They are one people. And then this will be done in a couple of turns. Can we... Okay, so nobody else wants to trade with us. Let's take a look at the invocation. We're neck and neck, so this is actually pretty good. We're doing really well. And Urson has six more turns uh, left. I can't move until I do my next turn. Except I need to also get this moving. And then in the early stages, there's not really much else to look at, so... All right, so we're not making as much money 
But that's okay because we can come up to here. Still maintain our replenishment, hide ourselves, and then you have decisions. So I think, are you, temp she's Tempest. And I think I prefer Tempest. Yes, because this one doesn't affect friendly troops. However, I think we're going to use this one as more of a, if we get the options. The options are randomized, so we're going to have decisions every turn as they're trained, which impact their training. What we have to work on is balancing that out, and sometimes they're random and you don't even get a choice. So it looks like they're holding up there. That's all good. This is a nice little Ostermark town. Again, there's only so much you can do on the first couple turns. Alright, so... Oh, we've got a really great boost with them. Let's see what they might be... They're not quite willing to do that. Gizleth. Defensive Alliance, they're not that close, though. Military access, they're pretty close. All right, so. I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? Um, Pyrrhic victory. Again, it's these. It's, it's the siege stages. Let's see what happens when the map loads. If it loads. Okay, so very controlled choke points. Wow. Oh, they also have Wrath of the... They have Wrath of the Bear. Huh. <laughs> okay. Alright, so... We are going to actually end the episode here. And we're going to fight this at the beginning of the next one. So as I mentioned, Katarin's going to be our main main uh, shall we say focus in the beginning and then I'm going to also try to do a Great Orthodoxy first 10 turn guide as well. So for now this is Rubicon signing out. If you want to keep up to speed with the early access videos, there will be more coming. Click on the logo here in the bottom, bottom right hand corner. Easiest way to make sure you're all set up and ready to go. We will see you all later. Take care. Rubicon signing out.